Chapter 108 to 112. Every time he becomes faster and stronger, but at the same time I feel that he is not getting faster or stronger. He hasn't even increased his strange energy. This is strange. I don't understand. And Acacia was right. Broly was not increasing his energy in his true legendary Super Saiyan God transformation, since in this transformation Broly always began in his greatest allowed power in this state, and unlike the normal Saiyan Blue Supers its power never diminish. Therefore, neither his power nor his speed increased, but at the same time they did. The reason for this constant power-up was because his compatibility with the laws of the world of Toriko were increasing at an alarming rate thanks to the Hogyoku that Broly merged with his formless realm. As Broly predicted and planned from the beginning, if the laws of the universe he was in are not 100% compatible with him, and due to an external factor, he felt forced to quickly reconcile with those laws to overcome that external factor. For example, fighting someone more powerful than him in that reality due to the incompatibility of laws. The Hogyoku would gradually complete the remaining parts, since from the beginning it was something that Broly is capable of doing. His strength, speed and energy did not increase, but the effectiveness in which they manifest themselves in this reality did. Rahm. And after a few seconds of incessant blows Acacia and Broly left the subsoil of the other hemisphere as if they were a volcanic eruption. Hemude. 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 Mud. Slash. A. Broly said, astonished and confused upon notice a great oppression and pain in his heart, with that he realized instantly that had been completely pierced by Acacia's macabre tail. Clash. And from the tip of that tail, a demonic face sprouted, which from the back of Broly bit his shoulder and began to devour it. Okay, fucking fly. I will eat it all. Shout Acacia laughing at Broly, making a sinister grimace of contempt and superiority with his monstrous big mouth. Face and mouth that began to deform in a strange way little by little. Bomb. Smile that suddenly was disfigured by another punch of Broly, a punch so powerful that sent him flying several kilometers another time, separating his devouring tail from his shoulder and heart. Ha 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 ha. Close your nasty mouth. Fucking pig. Broly shouted madly, approaching him hitting Acacia once more in the stomach. A blow that created an explosion that enveloped and disrupted the entire planet. Boom! Schwamp! Oops! Broly said with astonishment and concern since when he tried to poke Acacia in the stomach once again failed to hit him, because his fist and part of his arm was devoured by the mouth of a giant and sinister face that appeared from his stomach. And not only from his stomach, but also in his arms and legs, several of them. Acacia was transforming, or mutating once more, in an even more grotesque and threatening way. That was a marvelous punch. And its tats was even better. Acacia said licking his lips and chewing on Broly's flesh cheekily as he continued to mutate at a speed visible to the human eye. Really? Then here is your dessert. Shouted Broly, punching him with the stump in his stomach with all his strength, so much strength that Acacia spit out blood from all their mouths. Boom! Emude. 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 Dunum. 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 Broly continued hitting him again and again with his stump and his fists shaking the planet with each of his strikes. Until. Yeah. Hoi jj 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 jj. Nyam. 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 Gourmet Viking. Bomb mum. 
Acacia stopped the powerful but simple attacks of Broly and with a large number of powerful punches created with appetite energy, he hit Broly and one-sixth of the planet forcing he away from him. But not before devouring part of Broly's body with his several faces scattered throughout his body. Have you finally understood what the difference is between us? Said Acacia, who quickly regenerated from the attacks he had recently received, walking with arrogance towards Broly, or rather, what was left of him. Yes. I have understood perfectly. Even in my deplorable state. I am undoubtedly more handsome than you, Broly is word with cockiness, arrogance, and sense of humor, a sense of humor that was not logical with someone with such serious wounds. Apart from the fist, part of the right arm and part of his shoulder that had been devoured previously, also had to been added his two legs, the entire right arm, the left ear and part of the face. Acacia had devoured all those parts and limbs. And as everyone knew, what Neo slash Acacia devour cannot be revived or regenerated anymore. And that was also applied to Broly, who kept levitating in the air since he had no legs. Unlike the world of Medaka Box where Ihiko had a very similar ability that prevents the healing and resurrection if he damaged something. Broly used his causal invasion to deny the effect of that ability at 100%. On that occasion it was possible to completely annul that ability because the difference in physical and energetic battle power between them was as wide as day and night, but on this occasion the difference in power between Acacia and Broly was not so exaggerated. So, even if Broly was able to cancel 10% of that ability to deny healing slash resurrection slash restoration, the only thing he would accomplish is to regenerate only 10% of his injuries. Nothing else. An immortal body and instant regeneration capacity were useless before this terrifying ability. If something was devoured it was devoured forever. Near the final battle. This is not going well. Starjoon said as he watched Broly's state and the impending state in which Broly would be in a few tenths of a second thanks to his third eye. That guy can't go on much longer, we have to. Toriko said supporting her twin brother's opinion as he prepared to go help Broly. However. No, it's not over yet. Besides, we have to worry about something else first, Midora said, pointing to Starjoon and Toriko that they shouldn't meddle in that fight for now. Among other things because. Boma. Boam. 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 Bomb. Boam. Various eruptions of appetite energy emerged all over the planet in a violent way, overwhelming eruptions that created earthquakes that exceeded the tenth scale one after another. Thus creating an apocalyptic situation. This is bad. This is bad. The Earth's destruction. Has finally begun. Pear shouted, who had reached the main scene after being knocked out by Acacia and Broly, and watched helplessly as everything was about to be destroyed. And in the middle of the end of the world Acacia and Broly looked at each other with hostility while Acacia slowly mutated, emerging all over his body several black tumors, like the ones he had before devouring Neo. In your situation and are you still so arrogant? Listen well, Boya, in this world there are only two kinds of creatures. That very system, that food pyramid stretches across this entire vast universe. And at its very peak is NEO. You are rather high on that pyramid yourself. However, you were never anything more than something to be eaten in the first place. You are nothing compared to NEO. Nothing compared to me. A god. Acacia said, declaring his absolute superiority, narcissism and arrogance before the rest of creatures of all universes, declaring himself the most powerful being of all. The god of all universes. However, someone did not agree with that statement. Ha 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 Fuck you are hilarious. Seriously, if in the future you are not successful being a gourmet hunter you should try in the comedy industry. God you say. What shit of God is possessed by his own appetite? What shit of God seeks his own destruction? What shit of God capable of devouring everything is intolerant and slash or allergic to hatred and anger? You're nothing more than a fucking little excuse of crap spawn with an eating disorder. Ha 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 ha. You are no different than a deficient being who is allergic to his own tears and I can die anytime if he cries, and that is so stupid that cries of Ride for having that allergy. You are so pathetic that even the rage you feel towards me and the S cells of my body, which I have let you eat, are causing you a violent reaction throughout your body. You didn't know that my S cells are activated with rage? Ha 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 ha. I'm poison for you idiot. Do you think that these transformations that you are having are due to a power-up when you feel anger? No. 
It's your own body trying to fight his allergy before it explodes. You are pathetic. A whole shame that has the impudence of considering himself even a half shit. The mutilated Broly said with all the poison that inhabited inside his tongue to Acacia. An Acacia increasingly furious and more inhuman in appearance due to Broly's constant provocations and an extremely incompatible food with him. Meat of legendary Super Scion. You cursed Mangy. Fluridan Mutt. Acacia shouted. No, he was no longer Acacia. He was an EO, which had become totally berserker and threatened to devour everything in his path as he did with the Blue Universe. Good. If you insist on calling you God there is no problem. I know many many gods weaker and more pathetic than you. But I will show you the difference between an Eater God and a God Eater God. Broly said with great confidence and arrogance as his hair and tail danced in the air shining with a dense green color that left the blue glow that he previously had in the background. But I will show you the difference between an Eater God and a God Eater God. Broly said with great confidence and arrogance as his hair and tail danced in the air shining with a dense green color that left the blue glow that he previously had in the background. You. Ha 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 ha. Are you going to show me something? Ha 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 ha. You say you're going to devour me. Ha 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 ha. Are you about to be devoured and still have time to joke and bluff like this? Who do you think you are when you say that you are above me? You are only a stupid and annoying small FLIE. Shouted the grotesque gourmet god Acacia to whom new tumors grew and burst every second and his body expanded and became increasingly scary, grotesque and sinister, as if his body had reached a strange limit due to everything he had eaten and the anger he had in his body. Gourmet Pook. And as if it were the divine wrath of a god, a giant fist made of appetite energy came from space and impacted against Broly and the planet. Destroying almost half a hemisphere and almost causing the planet to leave its own orbit. Ooh, ah. Midora Sama, we have to do something fast, that man has already lost, and if the planet receives more attacks like this. Star June said, proposing to Midora to attack Acacia together, since if they didn't all act at once, it would be impossible to stop that aberration. However, Midora kept looking in the direction of the fight and said calmly, Quiet, Star June. The fight is not over yet. And he was right, since in Zone Zero where that titanic fist hit. There was Broly, who kept floating as before, as if he had never been hit by that attack. I was worried that my first nun skills to hide my body in my dimension would become obsolete since I had planned to acquire an immortal body, but I see that it can still be useful. Okay let's continue. Hakai. And using Hakai, Broly completely destroyed the adjoining parts that were eaten by Acacia, as part of his face, shoulder, arms and legs, and almost instantaneously those parts began to regenerate, but it didn't work, the regeneration always ended when it reached the parts eaten by Acacia. As I feared, Broly said somewhat disappointed. You're still alive. Awesome. You have made me reflect, I will no longer consider you a fly. You are a fucking cockroach. I don't know what you're trying, but it won't work. Everything Enio devours never comes back. Gwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Broly created just a few millimeters from him exactly the same missing parts of his body without missing or missing an atom in that creation. And by bringing them closer to his body. Slap. 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 Transplant finished Doc San, Broly said with a wide smile as he got used to his new arms and legs moving them very fast. Impossible. I had devoured those parts of your body. It is impossible that you could recover them. Screamed with bewilderment and horror the balloon of black tumors Acacia, that almost vomited part of the gourmet luck that he had devoured when he saw that Broly was once again in one piece. I don't know why you are so surprised. I cannot regenerate the parts that were devoured, but that does not imply that I cannot create others externally and then implant them in an area not affected by your disgusting mouth. Right? Broly said in a mocking and threatening way, not fearing Acacia at all that since he looked like an ugly balloon. You Daiii! Shout Acacia swooping towards Broly with his sinister mouth open with the intention of devouring him completely to not leave something to create or transplant. Ha! Don't you think you've eaten too much? You have become fat. And I can become even bigger. Broly shouted as he prepared to hit Acacia's stomach with his right punch. A punch that due to his speed and distance between Broly and Acacia would be the second to connect in that deadly confrontation. His fist would not hit Acacia before he was devoured. However. Eh. With that shout the muscles of his arm increased considerably, doubling the size he had before. But it wasn't just his muscles that increased in size. Bomb. His entire arm increased in size in both width and length, which could reach Acacia, a size that made it possible to reach Acacia before Acacia could devour him. But his arm was not the only one that muscled and increased in size, his whole body grew in an incredible way exceeding the 3 meters to support all that incredible musculature. At the same time his bluish hair and aura began to turn green gradually, as did the fur and hair of his body. His aura and power overflowed all over the plane and several natural satellites left their orbit and began to feel attracted to him and his overwhelming presence. Even time and space have been distorted around him. Broly had reached a new transformation that was reserved only for important moments. The legendary Super Scion God full power. Booaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Ora, 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 Ora. Broly shouted, hitting Acacia's macabre body once and again, slowly devouring him towards his formless realm. With each punch he managed to trap Neo a little more in his dimension and at the same time he lost the fist used to hit Acacia, having to recreate and attach it instantly to continue attacking at great speed. Every time Neo tried to devour Broly, Broly hid that part of his body in the formless realm to avoid unnecessary damage. And every second thanks to the gourmet luck Neo devoured was able to eat the K.I.E.N. in his skin that made him enter into the formless realm, and at the same time Broly became stronger due to his constant increase in power of his true legendary Super Saiyan God full power and the assimilation of laws. That Broly was winning. This can't be happening. I have devoured all the gourmet luck, this should not be possible. This should be my victory. Acacia shouted when he saw helplessly that was devouring less and slowly that strange energy that invaded his body and that was still almost impossible for him to hit Broly. After my transformation. With the difference in power between us today. Your gourmet luck does not have much effect before me. In 20 minutes you will be devoured. Broly said dodging and attacking at the same time, however, we don't have so much time. Something important is coming. So. I'll speed things up. At that moment Broly's eyes suffered a strange metamorphosis. Several new pupils appeared in the 360 degrees of his eyes, and from them a black and green energy spread across his face, in which surrealist green eyes also emerged. That was... Almighty. Yawatch's ability Broly version. It has been a pleasure fighting against you Acacia, thank you, it has been magnificent. See you on the other side. I will try to find your compatible food for you and eliminate Neo's secondary problems. And with those words Broly brought to the present the moment when Acacia was devoured by the formless realm in the future. Making it disappear completely from everyone's sight. Has this been the end? Has Neo, been sealed forever? Has Acacia finally been able to rest in peace? Pear said with tears in his eyes, something inconceivable for a Nitro, to see that his and Acacia's mission had finally ended. Defeat Neo in a way that he couldn't revive so he wouldn't continue devouring universes. Old man. Midora said reminding the acacia he knew and with whom he grew up, and not this abomination possessed by a demon appetite. Neo has been defeated. Toriko said with relief, since he was not convinced that Broly could win. And not only that. Broly said looking in another direction with sentimentalism. Tarikuo. We did it. God has been fully cooked. Kamatsu shouted in the distance, crying with joy not exaggeration, happy for his achievement and seeing that his best friend and combo was fine. Kamatsu. Toriko also shouted upon see that his friend and combo was fine, and that god, his main course and the goal of his whole life was cooked to perfection. Everyone was happy, everything had gone perfectly. However, Broly had to end with that beautiful moment of friendship, fraternity and victory, although not with bad intention, I'm glad you are all happy and eager to eat. But this is not over yet. Right? Midora asked, interrupting Broly and waiting for a certain phenomenon to appear. Buam. 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 And that phenomenon was the complete destruction of the world. The Earth. It's not going to hold out. Toriko shouted pointing out what was evident, like in every manga. Midora-sama. 
what can we do to avoid it? Star June asked to his beloved boss. I am afraid that with my abilities. I cannot stop the destruction of the planet Star June, Midora said with resignation to his trainee and godson. That was when Broly interrupted that cataclysmic moment, in an unexpected way, well. Since this is the end of the world. As the protocol says. I would like to propose to make the famous orgy of the end of the world. Hearing those words everyone looked at Broly with bewilderment, disgust and with the face of few friends, even with murderous intent. But, as here there are only heterosexual men like me and non-feminine weirdos with no reproductive abilities. I'm afraid we will have to postpone this idea. Broly said with a jocular, blissful tone and making a very funny ironic face. Stare. 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 But everyone kept looking at him with the same face as before, for daring to joke with something like that in this moment. Fuck you have very little sense of humor. No one has to wait for the end of the world to make an orgy. Anyway. I have sent an acquaintance, friend and brother of yours to fix this problem, it is a lie, he has gone of his own accord as it was planned to happen, but I will also award this feat. Thank you and you're welcome, Broly said resentfully, seeing that he was facing a difficult audience that did not appreciate his awkward jokes, so he scratched an ear in anger. Fuck you have very little sense of humor. As if an end of the world were necessary to make an orgy. Anyway. I have sent an acquaintance, friend and brother of yours to fix this problem, it is a lie, he has gone of his own accord as it was planned to happen, but I will also award this feat. Thank you and you're welcome, Broly said resentfully, seeing that he was facing a difficult audience that did not appreciate his awkward jokes, so he scratched an ear in anger. A brother? Midora said with a slight smile on his face, since he knew who Broly was referring to. In the center of the earth, a center of the planet without magma, but with millions of ingredients that were produced by center every second, well this manga is like this. Hurry, Tepe. We are running out of time. We're not gonna make it. Aimaru shouted at Tepe, the grandson of Jairu, the great knocker master. It's imposable Aimaru. Even if you bring me all the way to the inside of the earth. You want me. You want me to use knocking on the earth to stop it from being destroyed? Tepe shouted that was overwhelmed with the responsibility of saving the entire planet from destruction by performing a feat for which he wasn't mentally prepared. You are the only one that can do it. Insisted Aimaru, who still had hopes of saving the world. But it's just too much. This is jet on too gargantuan of a scale. Even if I were to try to use knocking on the earth. Where would I even start? And how? Tepe said preparing to hit the planet and perform knocking, but not knowing exactly how to do it to avoid the apocalypse. But suddenly he noticed how someone grabbed his arm and corrected the angle and position of it, right here, Tepe. Weiwa. They shouted, frightened and surprised upon see how Jairu, who should be dead, appeared to help them. Hmm. Even in the spirit world I was told I still had a duty to fulfill to Ichi-chan, said the old Jairu kindly to his grandson. Old man Jairu, Tepe thought with surprise and joy. I'm sorry I don't have more time Tepe, but there is a pretty annoying guy who is negotiating with Ichi-chan and me. Anyways, performing knocking on the earth. Sold be a total breeze. Right, Tepe. Because from here on, it will be you that carries on, the name of knocking master, Jairu said, having the last words with his grandson and helping him to perform the most decisive knocking in the history of the planet. Klenkake. Sorry, I don't know how to represent a knockout on an planet with an onomatopoeia XD. Where Toriko and the others are. Huh. The. The Earth's destruction just stopped. What's going on here? Toriko said with surprise upon see that the world had been inexplicably saved. I said it already. Partly thanks to my, lie, the world has been saved, said Broly, claiming part of the merit. The Earth's exploding has been halted. But now that brings about its own problem, Pear said, since it's never too late for to see the bad side of everything, even that the world hasn't exploded. Pear, what are you talking about? Toriko asked, not understanding the negative part of avoiding the apocalypse. But before Pear could give his long explanation Broly interrupted to summarize, let's say in this universe a planet made by gourmet cells matures until it reaches the limit of its growth. When that happens the planet explodes, ridiculing any existing supernova, but being that an explosion of ingredients. Ingredients that will evolve due to that explosion and that years later will form a new planet with ingredients superior to the old one and with a new planetary full course superior to the previous one. And this is something that has happened with this planet two millions of years ago. Yes, 
it's exactly that. Pear said, who had been prevented from explaining it in a more scientific and extensive way, that's why, if the earth isn't destroyed then. Then a new full course will never be created. That's what you're trying to say. Acacia asked to highlight the negative consequences they had caused in the evolution of the universe. The baton of flavor that has been passed and passed across this vast universe. Will this stop here on earth, but it's not like we can just let the earth be destroyed, Toriko said regretting that the evolution of the universe ended up on his planet, but he still want to live in his planet. A great dilemma difficult to solve. Unless. Well. I could give a solution. Inside me are all the ingredients that Neo has devoured. And I wouldn't mind throwing them into this universe to prevent the end of the universe cycle. But I will not do it for free, he he he, said Broly with the face of a vile, corrupt and ruthless businessman who takes advantage of the misfortunes of others and natural disasters to benefit himself. Upon hearing Broly's proposal, the faces of Pear, Toriko, Midora, Star June, and the blue Oni inside Toriko, lit up with hope. But hearing that it came with a condition, especially with that terrible and corrupt face he was putting. They prepared for a new possible conflict. And what exactly do you want? Asked Midora, the strongest of the four, or five counting Kamatis, as a representative, but fearing the worst, having to fight against that monster, a monster that was able to defeat Acacia slash Neo. Yes, and I will not negotiate. Broly replied without changing his tone and greedy expression. And with that statement the situation became even more tense, so much that it was drowning Kamatis, the weakest of the three, that he felt that the planet would really explode if they didn't agree. What do you think if you invite me to eat? This fighting and see Acacia eat so many things has made me very hungry, Broly replied, changing his intimidating and evil face to a friendly, pure and innocent one in less than a second. And a bucket of cold water would have fallen on their heads due to the contrast of what Broly had asked for and what they thought he would ask. Of course. Everything you want. Right Kamatsu? Toriko replied with a big smile without even thinking about it. Yes. Of course. Kamatsu also replied with joy like his combo. Then I'll get down to work, said Broly, looking up at the sky with his hands up. Broly focused on the information Acacia had eaten, specifically the food from the blue universe that was inside Neo. And using his materialization magic he began to recreate all that almost unlimited mass food, throwing them into Toriko's universe at once. Expelling an amount of food beyond imagination, enough to create countless galaxies. And with this I have become the savior of the planet and the universe, and for the protagonists as a kind and funny guy. I hope. This will allow me to always have at my fingertips a world with heavenly food and cook without any effort or management. And that food expansion brought more answers. I found it. It's him. The tasty meat smell I smelled coming form inside Neo. Toriko shouted pointing at the gigantic end mammoth that had been detached from the Broly ingredient tsunami, I'm gonna make this mammoth my full course's meat dish. And with this statement Toriko finally completed his full course. And then. Blue um. An authentic planetary level tsunami of center overflowed from the interior of the planet, dragging Tepe and Aymaru with it. Toriko. That's liquid concentrate of center. We stopped the world form exploding, but part of center overflowed form the earth interiors, shouted Aymaru, who is suffering among waves of center. Eeh. I have also contributed to that feat, lie, Broly said that he was still releasing food without stopping from his hands into space. So this is the ultimate reviving ingredient. The ingredient that can even create life and resurrect the deaf people, Midora said as he watched how everyone who bathed with center was instantly recovering from his injuries, even from those caused by NEO. And after a few minutes when Center covered the entire continent and healed everyone who fought in the Great War. Midora approached Broly and asked. I have fulfilled my part of the deal. Tell me. Will you do your part? Midora asked Broly trying to be indifferent. Of course. I would never lie, lie. At least not you on this issue, Midora, true, said Broly, who was trying to focus on his ability to create ingredients. I hope you are telling me the truth and with these words Midora began to concentrate all his gourmet energy and gourmet luck from her body to the limit, without turning back, then, for the very end, let me. Let this sinner, while only by the small amount he can, pay for his crimes. Toriko. Star. This is the end of the line for me. But your brothers should be friends and sit around the same dining table. If this is your end. Why do you seem, so happy, Midora? Asked Toriko, who partly understood perfectly the answer to his question. 
No idea, Midora said with great happiness and inner peace reflected in his eyes. With these last words Midora concentrated all his energy and transformed it into vitality. Gourmet spice. And using a technique similar to the one he used when he almost destroyed the human world, Midora summoned a rain of meteor all over the devastated planet. And as if it were magic that gourmet spice revitalized the planet like never before. Repairing the aftermath of the fight against Acacia, turning the deserts into jungles and reappearing old destroyed and extinct ingredients all over the planet. Allowing the gourmet age to return in all its splendor throughout the planet. Thank you Midora, Toriko said contemplating the body of Midora, who remained standing like a great hero that gave his life to save the world although in the beginning of this history he was the villain who supposedly wanted its destruction. This was the end of Midora. The history of a baby who was abandoned to feed wild pigs and had to become a wild animal to survive, a wild animal that thanks to Frozy became a human, a human who due to the death of Frozy become a villain that hated the world and himself since he considered them to be guilty of Frozy's death. A villain that finally become a hero that saved the world according to Frozen's wish. A human, hero and villain who was born for the same reason. Unconditional love for one person. Desire Realm. Well guys, your beloved leader has returned. It hasn't been a simple job, that thing absurdly resistant, bit very hard and ignored regeneration, something that I could not find in my universe. But thanks my awesomeness, strength, intelligence and heroic attitude another world has been saved. Broly said putting on a bathrobe and pretending to smoke a pipe. It is done. I thought you wanted to assimilate Midora too. Said Ahiko that thought he had found a new playmate, but it appeared that Broly had let him die and did not devour him. It's true, I thought you loved him for his ability to copy any technique almost immediately, just like Madaka, Najimi said, that didn't understand why he had let him die without absorbing him before. Relax. I'm not done with this reality yet. You have to invite me to eat. I have to explore the farthest lands to need more ingredients, knowledge and data, settling well on this planet so I don't have to always depend on my kitchen or that of my subjects. And above all I still have to attend the most important event in this world, and I can't go without a gift. And without. Broly said looking at everyone in a fixed and strange way, as if he were selecting someone from that long table. Hey, why are you looking at us so intently? He said some, who felt quite uncomfortable at that moment. Weeks after the battle for the destiny of the planet, that Broly watered the universe with the food of Acacia and Toriko finally completed his full course. The most anticipated event of the entire human and gourmet world finally arrived. The day that everyone was waiting for and in which thousands of people were invited, even Broly, and his companion. Toriko and Rin's wedding. In time of sated full Sudamax, or in times of hunger. Do you swear? I mean really swear, swear hard, so hard it's not even funny. Do you swear to continue to eat together and feed on another?" said the priest who presides over the wedding ceremony between Toriko and Rin, in a very serious way. Do I swear hard? I. I swear, but, uh. Rin replied with bewilderment, since the marriage vows that the priest was pronouncing were quite odd and he didn't know exactly what to say. In times of hunger. When the hell would that be? Who the hell do you think I am, father? Toriko responded quite exalted as well as his wife Rin, but for totally different reasons. Well then, you may now give the bride a kiss, a kiss to satiate and fill her. So hard it gets everyone else hard as well, said the priest continuing the ceremony in his own way. What the hell is that? Coco thought, seeing that this scene began to be in conflict with reality. Ha 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 ha. Weddings should always be this fun. I hope the others I have to attend are the same. Ha 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 ha. Broly laughed out loud to see how absurd that ceremony was. And after that strange wedding ceremony ended somehow. The moment everyone was waiting for finally arrived. Ladies and gentlemen. This is Kamatsu and my full course. Please, eat it to your full. Toriko said with joy and excitement to the more than 5,000 people he had invited to eat on his wedding day, food that would be cooked by Kamatsu and other 10 star chef friends. And those 5,000 people quickly got that euphoria too. Oh, this is what we've been waiting for. I can't wait to eat. They all shouted in excitement to eat the full course off most famous and beloved gourmet hunter and chef in the human world. Even Broly was exited too. Yes. I'm finally going to be invited to eat. Broly shouted with joy and impatience, not caring that everyone looked at him with curiosity, amazement, respect and fear. Broly-san, can you explain why I'm here when there were so many people to choose from? Kagaya asked, 
who had been invited by Broly to come to the wedding. Because normally a companion is needed in weddings, and obviously it must be a beautiful woman. I don't want to be looked upon with pity for being a poor single in an event like these, Broly said clapping and cheering at the newlyweds while he waited for the food, and stared at a place without blinking. I understand that, but... Couldn't you have brought Najimi with you instead? Kagaya asked, who was still not entirely convinced by Broly's motives, and believed that there was some hidden reason. It's simple, you look exotic like mine and you have a third eye, people will ask less questions about where you are if they think you are from my supposed home planet and race, Broly said whistling suspiciously as he continued to stare at a place in the room. Um, I understand. And why are you staring at that low-seated dining table? Kagaya asked pointing to an empty low table that was in the front row near the entrance. Ah uh, that, we could say that our next friends will sit there. Broly said in a somewhat sentimental way, before the food were served. The first dish. The full course's appetizer is the king of all corn. BB corn popcorn and chicken quiche seasoned with milk stardust. Mmm. -hmm. Delicious. I will never go into a cinema without these popcorns. Broly said enthusiastically as he ate the giant popcorn over and over, creating it over and over again with its materialization magic in its mouth. So delicious was that even Kagaya modified her facial expression by the overflowing taste of the Torikos world food. Second dish. The full course's soup is served. Century soup. Beautiful. Kagaya said almost involuntarily when she saw the beautiful northern lights coming out of the soup. And it's not only pretty, it's also exceedingly delicious. I cannot stop smiling. And I don't want to avoid it. Broly said, that like everyone who tasted that soup laughed from ear to ear in an exaggerated and ridiculous way. Ah creepy, I'm not going to eat the soup, said Kagaya, who like Sunny didn't want that anyone can see her making such a ridiculous face. The third dike. The full course's seafood dish. Features currently extinct species that has been brought back to life. Grilled ogai with ozu sauce. Wow. This this, is so good that it doesn't look like fish. It doesn't even have thorns. A single bite of this dish is like eating all the seafood with a taste multiplied by over 9000. Broly said licking his lips again and again with her eyes closed, trying to find all the flavors of extinct marine animals in that succulent delicacy. When suddenly. Oh, that table has started to fill up, Kagaya said that apart from tasting food as much as Broly was watching the empty table with her Byakugan. And at that table appeared the old knocking master Jiro and the former president Ichiryu, the strongest man in the world before his death, who had come from the other world as spirit foods to eat together at Toriko's wedding, and they greeted with joy with a bottle of sake in their hands as a sign of approval and congratulation for the one who was almost a son to them. Eh guys. We'll talk later. Enjoy the food until then. Broly said to Ichiryu and Jiro from one end of the room to the other, waving his hand from top to bottom, something that really bothered the two gourmet hunters. The fourth dish. The full course's meat dish. Is absolutely on par with the meat of the last boss himself, Neo. The final elephant, endophant steak. Hey, You forget to mention that it was me who created all these elephants. Broly shouted indignantly in a humorous way raising his fist in protest. Ha 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 ha. Everyone laughed due to Broly's occurrence, while Kagaya was ashamed of sitting next to him at that moment. Oh. The best steak I've ever tasted. Also seasoned with garlic, and not just any garlic, it's the phantasmal meteor garlic, and jewel meat from Regal Mammoth. Elephant meat is my favorite from that moment, Broly said with great satisfaction while his body sparkled like a jewel due to the meat of the Regal Mammoth. And here it is. The fifth and main dish of the full course. The king of all ingredients, God. Gui. Yeses. Everybody cheered at once upon sea that was moment to eat the most coveted ingredient on the planet. The main reason everyone had come to this banquet. A one-piece dish that looked like a planet cut in half where the atmosphere and all its inner layers could be seen. A dish for which everyone cried in each bite and incessantly asked for another one. This is. I know thousands of languages. Millions of ways to express myself. However. I can't find any way to explain the taste of this thing. You are still doubtful that this has been the best world of all. Najimi. Broly said to himself and in his inner world where everyone on his team, who was sitting in the big table to eat each and every one of the dishes that one of Broly's bodies had eaten or was eating, which he created once more with his materialization magic. Well, you might have a point. Najimi said, 
I was being very hard to deny Broly's claim after eating all that Broly was materialization. Just a moment. That is. Mayuri asked as he pointed to the screen with his long fingernail. Television screen where the banquet of the century was being projected from the perspective of Broly, which was staring at the table where Jiro and Ichiryu were eating. Table in which two people were added, and one of them. Indeed, it is Acacia, but without any mutation due to Neo. It was not easy to find a way to reverse his horrible appearance and side effects without affecting his power, but luckily I am a genius, just like you, but more, Broly said giving another bite to God as he displayed his usual humility. And you let him go to eat so easily? Dio asked, who didn't understand Broly's evil plan this time. Of course, it's a family meal, Broly said simply without stopping to eat, and look at the woman who was on her back next to Acacia. And that woman is. Hagoromo asked, but not finishing his question as is usually done on in a lot of mangas to create expectation. Once again inside the banquet. The sixth dish. The full courses, salad. The food treasure, air with ozone herb. The legendary ingredients are still coming out one after the next. Mmm. I never thought I'd say this. Not in this life or the previous one, but. Fuck. This salad is very good. I want more. Broly said as he ate that salad over and over again, something he never thought would be possible. This vegetable is amazing, just by eating a little my Byakugan has increased its radius several million kilometers, Kagaya said with surprise and satisfaction for having been able to increase his powers in such a simple and pleasant way. Another fruit that gives you powers. You never change right? Ha 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 ha, Broly said laughing a lot, just as he had planned from the beginning when he brought Kagaya here. Mm -hmm. I knew you were up to something, Kagaya said with resignation, feeling somewhat abused. The seventh dish. The full course's dessert. Seven colors of overwhelming sugar sweetness. The rainbow fruit. Finally, the first food that Toriko added to his full course. It makes me feel so nostalgic. Oh such sweet flavors. Broly said remembering the chapter of Toriko in which they got this fruit, when they ate it and described its taste and flavor, but now that he had the opportunity to taste it he thought that its description given in that chapter left what he was experiencing now on the floor. Here it comes. The last dish is finally here. The legendary ingredient that saved humanity from a year of famine. The Billions Birds' Egg. I don't understand why they leave the drink for last when it has to accompany all the food but. Exquisite. It's like a nectar distilled by the gods themselves. Gods like me. From now on I will even brush my teeth with this mixed drink. Oops the side effects. Ha ha ha. Kaoya, are you still able to activate Byakugan with those tabs? Broly said, to whom his eyelashes, nails and tail fur, his hair not being 100% scion, grown excessively due to the large amount of nutrients provided by this drink, and in the case of Kagaya her eyelashes grew so much that she even had trouble keeping her eyes open. This was also part of your plan to laugh at me? Kagaya asked, who was beginning to feel that he was the target of all the jokes. Yes, but don't take it personally, now comes the most important moment of this dinner, Toriko said without taking her eyes off the low table. And when they finished showing the full course, the chefs came out of the kitchen. I've mixed this drink with mellow cola. And created a billion birds mellow drink, said Kamatsu, who came out crying from the kitchen because he was remembering the whole adventure with Toriko, and its culmination, the final that they both wanted. With that Toriko and Kamatsu finished their trip, and Toriko toasted in the distance with Ichiryu, his adoptive father, in sign that he had achieved everything he wanted on his wedding day. Share his full course with everyone. And that was when Ichiryu's eyes turned away from Toriko to look elsewhere. Since one more guest has just arrived. Ah. A.H. Ahawk. And seeing that person, Kamatsu's teary eyes began to shed tears like never before every second. Since the person who appeared was Midora, who stood watching the table with his usual calm and indifferent attitude. Attitude that did not change when he saw his brothers Ichiryu and Jiro and his father Acacia, who had been cured of Neo's negative influence. However, that attitude changed radically when he saw that the woman who was on her back with Acacia. And that woman was. Frozy. The real Frozy, who turned slowly towards Midora and with a simple but radiant and motherly smile said. Come, Midora, let's eat together. And upon hearing those simple, but powerful words, the eyes of the imperturbable Midora changed and slowly were filled with tears. Tears that contained all the tender nostalgia, disbelief, accumulated suffering, sadness, rediscovered joy, and absolute happiness. 
Tears that in a few seconds flooded the scarred face of one of the toughest and strongest men in the world. Tears that showed Midora again as what he really always wanted to be. A child with a simple dream that he thought was lost forever. Eat as a family once again. And seeing this emotional conclusion Komatsu continued to cry inconsolably, although he tried to retain the tears, just like Setsuno and Toriko. And also. Bua. No matter how many times I see chapter 395, I always cry in this part. But watching it in direct is even more moving. Bua. Broly said, crying almost as much as Komatsu for how moved he felt with that scene that he had already read dozens of times. I cannot believe it. Does the infamous, twisted, selfish, narcissistic, megalomaniac, unscrupulous, psycho and bastard Broly have feelings and are crying for someone else? You do not see this every day, Najimi said mockingly when he saw that the infamous boss who was trying to dominate everything had a sensitive side. Of course, these are male tears coming from an alpha male who only cries for alpha male stuff that happens to alpha males, like the end of Midora, the end of Z from the One Piece Z movie. The final battle of TTGL. They are very scarce, especially coming from me, that's why they are so valuable, said Broly, not ashamed to cry but exalting his masculinity and courage as a person. You always find a way to show your narcissism to the world regardless of the situation, said Abito, who was constantly surprised at how shameless his new boss was. You really don't find it touching. Look closely. Both they and many of us are practically gods. Able to destroy worlds with just one finger, with knowledge beyond comprehension, capable of having any material thing we want. Beings with an elevated gaze towards the clouds, seeking unattainable and incomprehensible goals for most. But in the end, our true happiness is in things as mundane and in principle simple as these, or even those unattainable, terrible and epic goals are motivated by simple things like these. For example, share the work of your life with everyone, reunite with your loved ones, give meaning to your existence, never feel vulnerable again, feel the love you lost a long time ago. Many of us are not so different from he, right? Broly said with great sentimentality and conviction as he continued to see how the most legendary gourmet family, not counting Toriko and Star, ate together. And although some like Kars, Mayuri, or Ihiko did not agree so much with his words, many others such as Abito, Rin, Hagoromo, Fukuritsurabami, Kamagawa, Dio, Madara or Mantamune nodded gently, feeling identified with Broly's words. And I don't know if it's due to the excitement of the moment or because if I count my past life I am over 40 years old, but I begin to think that it would not be a bad idea to think about sitting down and having a family, Broly said expressing his feelings that woke up by the internal biological clock that all, including some gods have. However, this simple, touching and innocent comment, fell like a nuclear bomb in the meeting room of the desire realm. As if it were a natural disaster alert, many began to mobilize by instinct. Abito grabbed Rin's hand and activated his mange Sharingan to escape from there. Kamagawa stood between Najimi and Broly, materializing two of his bookmaker screws and was about to attack Broly if he were to make any suspicious movements. And as for the Atsutsuki family. Damn bastard. What do you intend to do with our mother? Hamura, Hagoromo, and Black Zetsu shouted in unison while they stood between Broly and Kagaya, ready to fight at any time. Black Zetsu because he was a man's boy. As for the other two, although their mother has tried to kill them and they have had to seal her, it is not well received to have a new stepfather, and more when he is much younger than them, and also their boss. And seeing all that unjustified stir, Broly had to intervene to save his honor and reassure his rebellious subjects, ch, 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 ch. Relax your tits and your little penises that are insecure about its size. When I talked about starting a family, I didn't think of any one of you, and of course I would never force anyone you to do something like this. So relax. Are you serious? Said Zetsu Black with relief, but also with some insecurity. Of course. Although if you want to woo me it will not be my fault. Ha 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 ha. After all, I must be the most coveted single in the Omniverse. Ha 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 ha. What woman couldn't be attracted to me? Broly said with great confidence, provoking discord once again. This guy is fucking shameless. Thought everyone affected at once. Although if I become a father in the future I would like some of you to give me advice, especially you Hamura and Hagoromo, not you Kagaya, you are not a good influence. Ha 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 ha. Broly said, not stop joking at the expense of Kagaya. Please, leave stop with that. Who was the unfortunate man who had to endure your jokes before me? Said Kagaya, who was more than exhausted from receiving so many jokes. Ha 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 ha. 
Broly continued to laugh, not caring about the opinions of his subjects or angry by his opinion. Earth of the Dragon Ball Universe. Kemisama Palace. Achuu. Aish shh, Kemisama sneezed as he felt a chill all over his body. What's the matter with Kemisama? Have you caught a cold? Popo asked because he had never seen his beloved Kemisama sneeze or catch a cold. No, I don't think it's the case, Popo, Kemisama quickly replied. Oh, maybe someone is talking about you, Popo said with a kind and selfless smile. It's possible, but I don't know why I had such a negative, ominous and gloomy feeling a few seconds ago, Kamisama said with great concern, as if he had been cursed in some way. Desire Realm. Three weeks later. In one of the research laboratories, Orochimaru, Kars and Mayuri investigated side by side as great mad scientific friends. These gourmet cells are something impressive. Kars said excitedly as he watched food and tissue samples of living things with his quantum microscope. They are more than incredible, they are able to increase all the physical characteristics of a user to absurd limits, including regeneration and life expectancy, it also provides energy attacks through appetite energy and special abilities in the case of being possessed by a demon appetite, Mayuri clarified while scratching his Egyptian beard thinking about the amount of possibilities this could bring to his research. Yes, they are extraordinary, the only problem that I see apart from the great caloric intake necessary to maintain them is, the possession of an unwanted demon appetite like Neo, Orochimaru said, disappointed by this setback. I strongly agree, although this is a problem that I am about to solve. You see what I was telling you, not only did I choose that world for its food, you must have a little more faith in me. Just by eating the menu of Toriko and Komatsu, without possessing gourmet cells and without any possessions of a appetite demon my maximum physical strength in base form has increased by 369%. This is something never seen before for someone of my race, despite and that I have not focused on increasing its effects. By the way, try this, Broly Patatas Bravas, thanks to the knowledge of Frozy and Joa I have greatly improved my kitchen in a short time in a miraculous way, Broly said who appeared by surprise behind Orochimaru and Mayuri with two trays in each hand. What did you just say? Upon hearing Hat Mayuri shouted very startled and even outraged by the statements of Broly. To which Broly with the same joy with which he had arrived said assertively. Ha ha ha. Impressed right? The skills I bought from that lazy crap Avalon are nothing compared to this. These, patatas bravas, I've made are something out of this reality. I've prepared them with. No. The other thing. Mayuri, Orochimaru and Kars shouted, interrupting Broly's gastronomic explanation. Ah, that. Ha ha ha. I don't know why you are surprised. I've been preparing for this moment for a decade, the moment to increase my base physical strength. With the assimilation of Acacia, Frozy, Jiro, Midora and Ichiryu I have not only achieved all their skills and knowledge. I have also perfectly understood the structure of the gourmet cells of all colors. Black, white, green, blue and red. Not only that he 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 he. Our new friends are the reincarnation of the family of gourmet gods that created the Toriko universes in the gourmet Big Bang. Beings made of gourmet energy with the size of a galaxy, and thanks to my time manipulation has also been possible for me to find information about them in the bodies and souls of my new hirings. So, it has been relatively easy. Impressed by your boss's abilities, right? Ha 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 ha. Broly said bluffing about his achievements before his scientific subordinates to show them who was the best. Although it was something totally normal that had an advantage over them. Since Broly assimilating them, he had acquired all his knowledge and skills, as they worked in laboratories within his dimension he also had access to their advances at all times. If we also add that Broly had many bodies, time skills and reality warpings and other cheat skills. Broly should win. That's cheating. You never shared this information. Have you had us investigate this for weeks only to say this? Did you just want to brag in front of us? Shouted Mayuri, who felt outraged and defeated, something he could not stand, he always wanted to be ahead in scientific research. And not only was he constantly being defeated by Urahara, that a sack of muscles also beat him. But Broly did not answer, he just kept looking at him with a wide smile nodding sarcastically. Since this project can be closed and the previous ones are already in the implementation phase, what do we do now? Aizen asked, who occasionally appeared in the scientific division to collaborate. For now do what you want. I have all my bodies busy, whether accommodating the new family, improving my kitchen, training with my teacher in my reality, training on my own, researching, collecting food from the farthest lands. There are only two bodies that for now are not doing anything important. 
one of them preparing a new outfit for the occasion. And the other one is here talking to you, Broly replied, getting quite serious in the last part of his speech. Oh you mean the new unproductive realities? Asked Najimi, who appeared out of nowhere inside the research room. And without Broly being surprised by that sudden appearance, yes, those worlds. I am sorry I cannot share with you what I will do in that world. Because. I fear that if you saw me lose my temper in that reality as I surely will do, it could damage the idyllic image all you have about me, and that could cause you some kind of trauma. It is not easy to discover that your idol, your reference, the person you most admire. Your reason for living. Your god. It's not so, 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 perfect. Idyllic image. We. Of you. Perfect. Since when? Some thought upon here how incredibly shameless Broly was. Well, if there are no more questions. I have to do a social work that someone should have done a long time ago, said Broly with a crazy face, materializing a gun in his hand and loading it in a threatening way. Before you go Broly. I have a question to ask you. Najimi said before that Broly disappeared from that room to go to another reality to do some stupidity. Shoot, Broly said impatiently, but he took advantage of that moment to improve the gun and its power. As we have seen with Jiro, Ichiryu, Midora and Frozy you have been able to revive everyone you have wanted in their most perfect state regardless of how long they have been dead. Why didn't you wait for most of us to die to resurrect us directly under your command? You could have saved a lot of time and problems. Najimi asked, not understanding the logic behind the actions of his boss. The answer is obvious dear Najimi. To make it more funny. See how you kicked against me with no chance of winning, and see your despair at the end when you realized you were nothing more than ants before me. Ah, it was orgasmic. Every second of that decade in which I dug like a prisoner trying to escape from prison with a spoon to reach those realities. It was worth only to see your expression. Ha 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 ha. Broly said with a face so corrupt and disgusting that made everyone who saw him shiver. Damned son of a bitch. Everyone who had to suffer that humiliation in this room thought. And now I have one last teenager to re-educate, and traumatize, Broly said once again reloading his gun and disappearing from his dimension. Planet Earth from another reality. Japan. Sinan Town. Yuki's house. In the middle of the night. Yuki Rito, the protagonist of To Love Rue, slept peacefully in his bed. M. Rock, Scary Rock. Speaking in dreams, dreams caused to a greater extent by the sensations that his body transmitted to him. He was still sleeping peacefully like a baby until a few moments ago. Until, he began to notice something very heavy on him and a strange and rocky sensation in his hand that made him wake up. What is this feeling? Oh no. Momo has gotten into bed again without me noticing. But this feeling is, different from Momo, it's nothing soft or round. What is it? And gradually he opened his eyes and got used to the light, which was on, and the first thing he saw is that his hand was grabbing something bulky, squared, and there were eight of them and... Do you like to touch my perfect abs shitty pervert? And, there was a huge, strange, menacing and excessively muscular half-naked man sitting on top of him, and what he was touching were his rocky abs, and not Momo's soft breasts as usual. Seeing such a sordid scene Rito could only... Yeah. Shout due to panic while trying to get out of there. But. Puff. Ugh. It was quiet quickly, since a desert eagle loaded with bullets was introduced into his mouth in a surprising way. Close your fucking mouth if you don't want me to open another hole through which you can scream like a fucking crazy bitch. Broly shouted as if he were a dangerous and violent thief who tried to steal a handbag from an old woman with intimidation. Ugh. Rito tried to say, who could not speak because he had gun in his mouth but he understood that he should calm down, or the consequences could be catastrophic. I know what you may be wondering. Why is there such a huge man so huge, muscular, handsome, manly, and with an extra eye at 2pm sitting on top of me and threatening me with a gun? Right? Broly said pushing the gun out of his mouth delicately. 
and Rito, who thanks to having a life full of constant unforeseen events could quickly recover from the shock and try to reply, Yi. Yes. IFA. Palm. But he was not able to finish his sentence, since. Broly hit him in the jaw with the gun stock. Did I tell you that you could talk? Shouted Broly introducing the gun back into Rito's mouth, who was writhing in pain, fear, and bewilderment. You. You just asked me. Rito thought crying inside, and outside due to Broly's irrational and painful actions. Well, where was I? Ah uh, yes, it's because I am very, very angry and disappointed with you. I'm angry with your fucking existence. Do you know why? Broly asked once again pulling the gun from Rito's mouth. And this time Rito did not answer, since he learned the lesson from the previous blow, so he didn't talk to avoid a second blow. But. Pum. Answer when a superior entity talks to you. Fucking dog. Broly yelled, hitting Rito on the other side of his jaw with more strength than the previous time. Damn psychopath. Rito thought due to despair and fear, since he realized that he was going to be tortured, whatever he did and what he said. I'm sorry. I think I've exceeded a little. But, every time I see that face of a useless beta male, without personality, faint-hearted, indecisive, pathetic, weak, who never does anything. A fucking fraud. I want to kill you in the most painful and macabre way possible. Broly said with trembling voice, and not only his voice, the hand with which he held the gun was also shaking, a gun that was precisely in Rito's brow, something that scared him even more. He's crazy. He is crazy. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Lala. Momo. Nana. I have to do something to make them realize that a dangerous alien has entered the house, Rito thought desperately, trying to escape from that dark situation in which he would possibly lose his life. If you seek the help of those girls, as always, and for everything. You're wasting your time, now they're sleeping and nobody and nothing can hear or see what's happening here. No one will come to save you, nor will they realize that I am here, Broly said, informing Rito that he was really screwed. Can you read the thoughts? Wait a moment. If what he says is true. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Rito thought, to whom all hope had been taken away with that phrase. Quiet. For now I will not kill you, but believe me, it is not for lack of desire. I want to do it with all my soul. However, luckily for you I am a great therapist and behavioral corrector of idiotic teenagers. Therefore, my professional code prevents me from killing you. But only if you succeed in my therapy. And you will only have one session with me. Do you understand me now? Broly said hitting Rito's face with the gun barrel abusively, as if he were hitting an animal to make him understand that he had done something wrong. He's crazy. He's fucking crazy. But what have I done to him to treat me like this? Rito thought, who had never been as scared as he is now in his entire life. What is my problem with you? You must be wondering. And since I'm a very kind and patient person I'll gladly answer. You will see Rito, not that I only have a problem with you, although you are the most extreme, pathetic and popular case of the shit I hate. I have a problem with all or almost all manga and anime of harem genre. But first of all I have a serious problem, or rather, hate and disgust. For the protagonists of that gender shit. You want to know why? Broly said getting out above of Rito to get more comfortable in bed. Harem manga and anime. Protagonist. What the hell are you talking about? This guy is crazy. Completely crazy. Rito thought with real dread, but he was too scared to speak or move. But not before using telekinesis in Rito to make him fly in the air to hear his speech in a very uncomfortable position. Eh. Another alien with strange powers. Why do these things only happen to me? If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.